Hi, Harold. So here we're going to talk for a few minutes about our new book we've edited, The Elgar Modern Guide to Philosophy of Economics. Um, this is, of course, the second anthology of this kind we've edited. Uh, over 10 years ago, we did the Oxford Handbook of Philosophy of Economics. Um, and in that collection, we um, emphasized a book that would try to speak to interests not just of philosophers of economics and methodologists, but to actual working economists. Uh, we've tried to, if anything, carry that idea even further in this volume. I'm hoping that there was some take up in that approach to, to things from our previous one. Um, so um, I think we can truly say that here um, we've got a focus on methodological and conceptual issues that actual working economists really do confront uh, unavoidably in the work that they do, and that it should therefore be interesting to them. And uh, maybe to, to show that that's true, I'll, uh, I'll show, we'll show the table of contents here. Let me just get it up. So here we see the topics and some of the authors, all of the authors that are available. Um, Harold, maybe you'd like to make a point about um, who these authors are, what kinds of work they do. Yes, yeah, so, uh, as you can see from the list, uh, the majority, uh, large majority are actually practicing um, economists um, uh, and their uh, research is um, empirical work in economics. They are not just me methodologists with a big M. They certainly do talk about methodology in a more concrete local sense. Um, and then the, the other contributors are, are philosophers of science who have uh, pretty good sense of what's actually going on in um, current economics. Yeah, we encourage these contributors not to write just survey articles. So, um, you know, these aren't just reviews of literature by any means, quite the opposite. We encourage them to defend strong, clear points of view, real um, substantive theses, um, with which of course, therefore, many will disagree. Um, so these are intended to be engaging papers that will be debate starters. It's also um, worth pointing out uh, that the topics um, covered in the various chapters um, are not abstract high theoretical issues such as what's the nat nature of rationality and, uh, and so on. They are active um, ongoing um, empirical uh, research issues in economics that, that lead to some philosophy of science questions. Yes, and someone looking at the video at the table of contents here will also see that the scope of coverage is not just um, the things that philosophers have traditionally tended to be most engaged with like welfare and foundations of game theory and micro. Um, we've also got some focus on macro, several chapters on macro, feminism um, and experimental economics and also policy. Uh, and I think the policy chapters take a, an interesting and refreshing um, points of view on that. Yes, and also um, a noticeable point to me about all the chapters basically is that especially those by the economist, is that um, they are quite willing to be critical of, of various practices in contemporary economics. Um, but at the same time, um, nobody thinks that the whole field is, is based on a mistake. Um, they um, are firmly committed to um, the general discipline of economics, um, but are willing to be um, critics from the inside, as it were. Okay, well, I hope we've uh, presented people with some reasons to be interested in the book and to read it. 
Um, I should add that it has a purple cover. Uh, that's another reason because I know that my bookshelf at least uh, is miss largely missing that color in creating the full palette to the eye. So if you want some purple in your bookshelf, um, this is something to add to it. Um, thanks very much for, for your time, Harold. And uh, uh, thanks for working on the book with me. I hope uh, it attracts plenty of interest. Cheers then. Cheers.